Hi guys, so today I guess I'll be showing you my shame, lol. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I've had a lot of comments or requests recently to show you guys my craft room. It is always a work in progress. It is not even close to being as tidy as it needs to be, but this is how it works. I know this is like a pile of stuff just floating, but it's on my husky work desk. I showed you guys this room not that long ago when I got the work desk um, because it's awesome. You can I can roll it even higher than what it is, but it has a steel bar at the bottom and you can just roll it up and down even with the stuff that's on it. You know, you think there's a lot of weight there. I can just easily roll it up, roll it down. Um, it doesn't take up a lot of space in this room. So let me tell you about this room. This room is a what's supposed to be, I guess, a dining room, as you can see the lighting there situation because my kitchen is just right here so <laughs> that's a pile of a uh, bag of uh, groceries I went to get but if I don't disinfect it right away I just leave it there because it's basically canned goods and I'm like uh, we'll just leave it there for a minute but um, and if you don't have a pile of shoes you know by your back door then I don't know but uh, so I, when I remodeled the kitchen I showed you guys the kitchen too so that's already something that um, I have shown long ago so it's right off of the kitchen and it's supposed to be a dining room but we use a different area of the house as a dining room because i guess this place has like two living areas too uh, downstairs so when you first walk in you walk into basically our living room and then from there you can see the dining room real big um it's a big kind of open space and it's off the other side of the kitchen there's another door um past my coffee area there or not door but like archway anyway so this is that space and I know you guys are going to tell me to build shelves because everyone always tells me I should do this or that. When we had done the remodel after these windows leaked, um, I told my husband too, oh, maybe we should get built-ins, you know, and we kind of talked about it. He's like, but this is supposed to be a dining room. I don't think we should make it look like an office or something else, right? Um, I'm like, yeah, I guess. I don't know. So it's just a bunch of different things I've always had, um, like, you know, desks and uh, shelves and bookshelves and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not going to put anything on my wall, so I don't need to <laughs> have those comments about, you know, installing this or that. It's just not going to happen, so that's fine. Um, and what else before we start really looking into everything? Um, my garage is just full of a lot more things that did not make it in here. The garage, we have a three-car garage and we don't park any cars. <laughs> it's just full of stuff. Not just crafting stuff, but just, you know, household things and kids' things and bikes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, gardening gear and ridiculous stuff. The other thing that helps me organize supposedly my craft room is right under my stairs here. We have this, um, oh, something's right behind my head. Sorry. I have these little <laughs> things I hung up supposedly these little chandelier or candle. They are straight right now though. I'm looking at it. They looks weird, but, um, right behind my head and I'd hardly ever hang out right here. But anyway, I have this, um, closet here. And I will show you this. This is my particular shame, but I did go through it the other day and I kind of cleaned up, but I need to do much more. So this is like piping bags and piping tips, things like that that have to do with like Wilton baking, you know, goodies. Explorer 2, the Anna Griffin one, <laughs> Cricut um, Expressions is my favorite machine. The regular, the mini, the little Cricut. I always bought the Cricut Create when it first came out and then I sold it and I was like, I want it back. So I got it when they revamped it. So this is still the little guy, the Cricut Create just a ton of things that have to do with like these are little diapers from Miranda's doll little things from Miranda um baking stuff all my little not all my little machines because you guys know I have from my old channel if you remember I did tons of machine reviews I love little machines so these are like donut makers and taiyaki makers and my garage is pretty much full of them these are just the ones I use more often um not even that often as you can see they're just like thrown in there um serger sewing machine now you can't see it's back in there singer Futura embroidery machine that's the big carrier carriage for it Underneath there, there's still another um, Cricut cake, the Cricut cutter. It's under behind these things, but that's what I'm saying. I have to get in here and arrange this better. These things used to be kind of like this. And then I have my Zojirushi bread makers in there. You know, all kinds of just extra things, baking stuff, tea light candles for whatever reason. Oh, and my sifters. I didn't know the sifters were here. There's a few. There's three of them, and they're all in here. Um, cupcake wrappers, like things that have to do with like baking, like jello molds. I mean... Just a bunch of stuff. Things that maybe I should go through and de-stash too, or give away actually. These are the kind of things I would normally send to the um, Goodwill. Um, meringue powders, embroidery stuff, there's all kinds of yarns, there's just a bunch of stuff in here. Most of my yarn I keep in tubs out in the garage, that's probably... I have those big metal, like these things, out in the garage, and they're just full of tubs, 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 and then they're full of um, yarn. and. 
mostly yarns and stuff like that. Oh, and all my pots and not pots and pans, but pans, like baking pans and like specialty ones and cookie cutters, all that stuff's out there. Okay, so with that being said, I don't even know what to look at. There's <laughs> just so much stuff, like this stuff that's piled up here that I never even try to get to. Um, I can see in here there's uh, larger Close to My Heart sets, when I used to sell Close to My Heart. Um, in there, there's some Cricut cartridges I can see in there. It's, it's Anna Griffin stuff is what's in there. I should open that up. That's probably really good, actually, because <laughs> I can see that's the Cricut Anna Griffin stuff. And then there's, like, packages that have to do with dyes. At the very top, it's just, like, the cheap... Um, stamp sets and things like that you might get from Michael's. Um, that's an empty tub, which is great because I need one <laughs> at the very top. Uh, I can see that one right there has Crafters Companion like embossing folders. Um, these are pens that I don't even use anymore, but they're probably, well, not that I don't use them. I just hardly ever use them. They're Copics and things like that are in there. So look where they're buried. Like, obviously I don't get to them. Paper packs. I don't know what's in that pink one. This is more little paper. Um, looks like close to my heart. No, sorry. Um, what's it called? Gorgeous Girl stuff. I don't know what's in that one. <laughs> and then at the very top is embossing powders. Um, these bags are here, there's two of them. One behind the other are from like scrapbook expos when I got cute little things and cute little deals, but I need to actually use them, so that's in there. I can see this is all clay stuff with the Martha Stewart, like, I don't know if you guys remember these. Um, maybe I should bust these out. I don't even know if the clay will work anymore, but um, like little mold makers, that was a big deal for a time of <laughs> Batman. Pinata that my brother had given us. Um, acrylic paints for whenever I do like acrylic paints or my nails. I hardly have reason for anything else. These are all um, Unity Stamp Company stamps. I used to be part of their club and every month it was like 30 some odd dollars. They send you a flat thing like this of stamps and they're gorgeous. They're rubber stamps. They're great. They still exist. They're a great company, but I was, I'm good. <laughs> There's too many, so I canceled that. Um, lots of things. These are all like Chloe things from Crafts Companion. These are Sheena ones, but they're on their way to getting in these tubs. That's why I just took them here and I keep them together so I know, okay, that's all my Chloe stuff. That's all my Sheena stuff. Um, but I have tubs in here that are just Chloe or just Sheena. Um, what's in here? Oh, awesome. This is... <laughs> I didn't even know. Um, all the um, Cricut Cuddlebug. Look, there's some more plates in there, which are a uh, prized commodity right now, right? But it looks like there's tons of... Look at all those Spellbinders dies. I don't know. So I have to look in there and try to use that more often. Um, AliExpress things. <laughs> um, Unity stamp. Again, these are the kind of things I would pick up at like Scrapbook Expo. So they package them differently. They're really cute. And they, and that's their smaller kits. They don't have to sell you a big kit. Um, Crafters Companion stamps that need to get put away. There's all those little gray ones. People are asking me to show how to use these. They're real easy. I will do that soon. Close to my heart. Close to my heart stuff. Just tons of sets. So this is the part I'm like, eh, I need to get to. Because I have things on the floor I need to get off the floor. Like, this tub is holding so much cardstock, right? Well, this cardstock is just, like, Recollections cardstock or Kane Company and um, just regular cardstock, right? It probably die cuts with a view. So I haven't used this in years. I haven't even looked at it. So maybe this is the kind of thing I need to de-stash and then put something better in its place, right? Um, wax seal stuff. Way too many scoreboards. I'm going to keep, obviously, um, some of these, but they were just good deals, so, like, I have them, but I need to de-stash those or give them away. In here, all these Sizzix, um, that's the thing, I gotta clear the stuff that's on top of these things, because then I can't get to those things unless I clear it, and then I don't want to clear it because, you know, or use them because I need to move these things. Um, it's the big, uh, dies like this, the Sizzix bigs, I guess is what they call them, but they used to be just their basic, that's what they were. And that's another one, so these two tubs are just full of old school Sizzix dies, you know, the what they call bigs now. Um, down here, close to my heart, all three of these are close to my heart. Um, papers and stamps and kits, if, they're, if they have kits. I have some other things thrown on top, but that's what those are. Uh, very bottom is just pictures, pictures, pictures that we've taken that I haven't um, scrapbooked, so I can't really get rid of those. That last one, again, has... Um, what's it called? Uh, cardstock and stuff like that. And then things I still need to put away from the last haul. These are things that I need to either give away or de-stash, but they're in that bag and that's what they are. Um, in this little tower, I just have mixed media stuff. So now I know where to go. Do you guys do this? You have tins and you're like, oh yeah, I'll totally put something in there. This tin is just going to end up in the garage and then back out to the um, uh, Goodwill. Oh, my sparkle inks. Well, not about all of them, but most of them. I try to keep them in the same place. These are just like different mediums. All my sparkle pens are back in there. There's a ton, but you can barely see them. Metallic pens, gesso type things, and those cool um, binders and other little things I recently got from Diamond Press. They're down in there somewhere. 
um, another tin. Um, I remember Seinfeld making a joke about that, that like, at your house, it's basically just a recycling center. It's things that are on different levels of garbage, basically. <laughs> and he's like, has anything ever made it back into the house from the garage? Once in the garage, then it gets, ends up either getting thrown away or going to, uh, you know, Goodwill. But anyway, um, all kinds of kits from Anna Griffin. Kits, as far as I can see, they are stacked. I need to actually use these. I buy them because I, like, I like to collect them and then I'm like, well, that's not really my style, so I don't use them at all. There's more back there and there's more in the middle and then in the front. Card making compendium stuff. Oh my gosh, I told my kids they needed to um, stay asleep. They woke up as soon as my husband left and I was like, oh yeah, because I got to make this video. So yes, I might be talking fast. I know people are going to say I talk fast because I need to get through this and this room is ridiculous. So in these credenzas, there's cardstock and I have labels. So these are like flowers, letterpress things, which I don't even use that letterpress from, uh, what was the lifestyle crafts? I can't remember, but I think We Are Memories Keeper, We Are Memory Keepers bought that style of what they did. So anyway, so I have stuff like kits, kits, and these are all kits that I probably bought at Scrapbook Expos because they're still in bags and things like that. Um, markers, uh, Ugh, color pencils, things like that. I mean, I, I don't even know. So this is, the, I showed you guys the other day in a video. I am like, I have to put this stuff away. And look at what this is. This is like tons and tons and tons of Anna Griffin. Um, like seriously, I don't know how many, but a ton of Anna Griffin um, dies. And then like Crafter's Companion orders that have come in that I just need to put away. Um, in this tray here, or this little cart, is stuff that I haven't touched in years. Remember, I just busted out this so easy. But in front of that is the um, sidekick that I hardly ever use. I did buy new plates for it, and I just to have them, but I don't use it. And then as lower as you get is more things that I hardly ever use. So I do need to make bar better space of that. This right here is one of my favorite things. It's my, like, um, <laughs> stamp tower. And basically... It's just stamps that I bought over the years, and they're, I think they're separated by, like, holiday. Um, I have Prima stamps in here. I have, like, Tim Holtz stamps in here. Look at this Tattered Angels screen prints. Do you guys remember those? <laughs> um, and they came with, like, stencils that go along with it. I use with your glimmer screens, it says. Anyway, there's tons and tons. And this thing I got at Michael's, I love it. It's super sturdy. Look at all the stuff on top of it, and it's not, like, caving in like those other plastic tubs I'll show you later. Just way too many things here. I, I don't really want to go through each and everything, but I know you guys like to see that um, down lower. They're just in tubs. That's why it's kind of visible. Okay, so under my desk, things I just hauled, I need to put away. Well, not under. Let's go over here. So this is all like ink pads, pretty much all the Crafter's Companion ink pads in the world that um, I have here with all the different papers. These are specialty papers, so if I need something, oop, something fell off the back, <laughs> watercolor paper, something like that, I will use the I will grab them in there. At the bottom I have like calligraphy papers. These are just papers that I've been cutting into so if I need like a little scrap I can pull from there since I'm sitting here normally. Um, I'm doing some crochet videos today hopefully. The beautiful bliss I get to. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We are actually doing distance learning and it's already... it's been not bad. Um, okay. Uh, Impress Mini with her plates. The plates for the big girl are right here. Gemini Jr. is right behind or in front of me, so whenever I use them, I just put it here, I put it here, or just bring it over to the side here. Diamond Press uh, Marquee. Um, I hope you guys, you know, get yours very soon. I know my uh, orders that I placed really close to midnight are already on their way, so I should get them pretty soon. Um, oh, I found some elastic when I was looking through other things trying to clean up in here. I was like, oh, perfect, because I always buy stuff. This is from Daiso. I always pick up things that I think I might need, and so if I want to make more masks, I have some elastic instead of just making ties. Um, okay, let's finish up here. So whenever I'm here working, I just reach for scissors, I reach for a dimensional adhesive, I reach for a 3D glue gel, I reach for whatever it is. I know it looks like a huge mess, but all my um, uh, tape runners... Oopsie. Tool there. Um, all the little, you know, guys that we need for coloring. Gilding waxes. Remember when I was like, I know they're here. They were just kind of under here, so I couldn't really see them very well. But they are right here. Uh, washi tapes. Other diamond press. Um, water brush and stuff like that that I can reach for. This area, supposedly, I wanted to keep it clean. So what if I took pictures or something? And um, and it's, it's doing okay, but I do need to get rid of some of this stuff. There's stamps and things here I need to put away, like mailing stamps. Um, under here I have all the stamping things, uh, vintage typewriter, which I love. Oh, this typewriter is so beautiful. I should show it to you guys one day. Um, down here we have scoring boards, and they look like a shambles, but when I move my chair, they don't fall or anything because they're kind of hooked in by other scoring boards and other cutting tools are just there. 
Um, again, extra cuddle bug plates are in here. All in here is um, just a ton of Crafter's Companion stamps and dies and 3D embossing folders and God knows what else. The same thing down here. There's just larger die sets and some specialty papers. This is one of the things I kept in here because it has like my acrylic powders and monomers. So it's basically a cart I got at Sally's and I love this cart. It's amazing and it holds so much stuff and you can customize however you want the um, drawers, you know. Well, that one has too much stuff in it. <laughs> they all do because this is the only thing I brought in here for nails. And um, so I pretty much put everything in there. This thing, I always debate. Throw it away, get rid of it, bring it back. I don't know. There's just a lot of things in here that, where am I going to put them if I don't use this? I don't ever spin it. <laughs> you know, it has um, old cutters that we used to use all the time, right? When we used to make our little flowers, we had our layers for the flowers here. Um, clouds and circles and other little shapes that we used to use. These are the ones I used to use the most often, the Martha Stewart like punches. So I keep them there. Um, brand new, like the newer close to my heart inks, the extra ones that I hardly ever reach for because they're way over there. Okay, on this other side here I have a stack of papers. This is all close to my heart pa close to my heart. Crafter's Companion paper. Every single thing that you're seeing here is all Crafter's Companion. So if I need some Sincera Pearl I grab it there. There's more there. Um, Spectrum Noir Tri Blends, any other Aqua Blends. Uh, so all, all these Aqua markers and things, they're just kind of loose. Obviously you see them. So I did order um, the mark a tray marker trays, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, so hopefully when those come in, I will just put these out on there. Um, and then just more markers and Aqua tints and whatever else is in there. What do we have? More tape stuff, all kinds more uh, color blends and aqua blends from Close to My Heart. Um, that's a little project I made at one of the scrapbook expos. Just a bunch of things. I like making little rag dolls like look creepy so I had those and um, kind of fun. Picture my mom and Diego when he was little and myself. Just little fun things. The bucket of washi. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, cookbooks, cookbooks, maybe some other kind of artsy books. Things I need to get off the floor. There's like a basket there. Um, calligraphy stuff is all in this one tub here. Some felt. That's just a box of cards. Every card I make that literally I make them and they're here. They're in that box there. There's some sewing stuff down there. That's all embroidery stuff. This is all adhesives. That is all um, kind of like specialty punches, like weird little gadgets that I might have picked up here and there that have like things to go with them. Things I need to haul from AliExpress. Um, <laughs> the things that fell right now that we heard fall, remember? Um, it's just some little packages here. All of my illustrators, Spectrum Noir illustrators, are in this bag and I already did a video review of them. So this is the back side of this because what happens is that's where I have to plug everything in. So it's a mess, or it looks a mess, but I know exactly what all is going on here. Um, and then all that stuff plugs in, I can use it on this side, right? My heat gun, iron, glue gun that fell on the floor. All diamond press, all diamond press, all gorgeous girls stamps. Um, um, this is like adhesives and things like that I need to get in there. Um, I don't know. So these are the tubs I was talking about that I always cave in. You see how it's all caved in? Oh, it's such, it drives me nuts. But look at all the stuff I have on top. So yeah, no wonder it's caved, it's caved in. Um, so adhesives, uh, Bodabra tools, tons more of um, glue guns because I have like maybe 10 glue guns. Uh, gorgeous girls, gorgeous girls, all filled up in there. Crafters Companion, this whole thing is all Crafters Companion, just everything. There's stuff sitting on top that needs to be put away. But this is literally just all crap. I can't even open the doors normally. This one I can because it's a little more arranged because I know it's in here. But I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> that was felt empty. It was just light. Um, this is pretty much all like the, I try to keep things together so I know where they are, like layering stamps, okay, with their dies, um, whatever this was, whatever auto delivery, um, wrap dies, mandala dies, you know, I know it's hard to see, but so I try to keep everything together so at least I know, kind of know where the things are. Okay. In this bookshelf, this is taking way too long. At the very top, foil press. Everything foil press that I own is there other than the foil press, which is somewhere else I'll show you in a minute. All my Close to My Heart inks on a kind of rolly, twisty thing. Cardstock, 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 die cuts with a view, all that kind of paper that I don't even care about anymore. So I need to pull those out and put in my, you know, close uh, Crafter's Companion papers, things like that. And that bag is all the <laughs> recent stuff that Crafter's Companion has sent me for a review that I don't know where to put, so I threw them in that bag. Um stamps and more spellbinders dies. Actually these are um, 
Heartfelt Creations. I was all big on Heartfelt Creations when they came out. Um, I used to see them at the Scrapbook Expo. Really nice people. Amazing people. And so I have all those kind of layering like flowers the way they do and all that kind of stuff. Uh, cheap alcohol ink markers that I picked up at Tuesday morning. Amazon, stuff like that. Maybe AliExpress. Just tubs of washy, washy, washy. <laughs> Too much washy. And it's not even bleaching out with the sun, which I think is interesting because... I pretty much always keep this window open. So that's good. I mean, it's good to know, right? <laughs> um, tons more washi just thrown around. A bunch of Sizzix dyes. Mostly Sizzix here, what I keep here. My Stephanie Bernard, like, she's the designer I prefer from them. And so I have tons of her card bases and, you know, whatever kind of dyes here. I try to put my Molly Harrison stamps together, but I need to put them somewhere better. I just put this up in here. I used to have this in my kitchen. I don't know if you guys remember I did a Hobby Lobby kitchen cart thing. It just wasn't really working. It was not really working out there so I used all the tray. I brought the trays in here. Um, all close to my heart like the kits you know so beautiful butterfly, the tropical kits, the uh, vintage lace. All those things are together with their dyes with their stuff. Even this holiday one needs to get in here <laughs> but um, it's on top for now. Um, oh lord the Leaning tower of, you know, magazines, 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 <laughs> magazines, um, all kinds of cardstock, my several packs of um, the uh, fairy garden paper from close to my, uh, why do I keep saying close to my heart? I haven't sold that or been a rep for like a very long time now and I keep saying that. Uh, Crafts Companion. All kinds of specialty, AC specialty cardstock. Back in the day, AC specialty, like, paper was, like, what you had to buy. And it's really cute the way they package their paper because it has, like, a little corner ripped out you can rip out. And so you can see what's in it, and it's kept nicely. Obviously, you would want to keep them standing up, but I have other things on top of them right now. Um, these are probably... Yeah, what's it called? Something farm. Greeting farm stamps. Like, tons of them I used to get at Expos. Pretty much is where I would get them. And you can see I totally would use them. I think only one was inked up. Look at this. But again, on carrier sheets, that's what we do. We still do that, I guess. These two are all Stephanie Barrow Stamps of Life stamps and then stamps with their dies. If I started doing that, I was part of the Die Hard Club. Again, I mentioned to you guys, I love her. She's a sweetie. I just was getting them every month, paying however much. You know, it's not th that exorbitant. But, um, and I've never even inked them up. So I just have, I mean, these are... I don't even know. On each one of those sheets is four sets, and look how many sheets there are. Because there's one in the front, one in the back, one in the front, one in the back, on the top and bottom. Plus the sheets, right? And then plus these. So I'm like, ah, that's just too many. So I finally had canceled that. Oh, I was in the middle of cleaning up. I left these things here. I didn't mean to do that. Um, that little IKEA sewing machine. My brother Disney sewing machine. I like to keep it out because it's easier to get to. Uh, that's, uh, what, foil quill stuff. All the embroidery stuff. Another vintage sewing machine down there is all the just like bags and other things that I use for giving things away or whatever. Um, big old tubs full of Crafters Companion stuff. That's all like other, I, I can't even explain what's in there. Just doodads and <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, again, all magazines in this tub all the way up. Um, oh, okay. This is another pile I need to get to. I, I put things here on purpose. These are all like beading and other things that I need to get put away. Again, lifestyle crafts things that have to do with letterpress that I wouldn't even open. That's why I was like, why is this? And it's taking up so much space. They're really big. They're big, huge plates. I don't know if you guys remember. So that might be something I'm willing to destash the whole thing, right? It would have to be the machine. Everything that goes with it. Printer. What do I got here? Oh, a pita recipe. <laughs> and what else? Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Um, a shawl chart. So got to get that going. Um... <laughs> These are little machines that I was hooked on. Uh, they're mandala makers, but they have like Disney ones. It's by Ravensburger. If you're interested, look those up. You can probably find them on eBay better. Again, a bunch of stuff that I need to clear this out so I can get into the drawers, but you know, needle craft stuff. What does it say? I don't even, I have no idea. It's usually accessories like buttons and stuff like that. Um, stamp presses, just boxes of photos. There's three photo boxes here you can barely see. And then in here I keep all of my like other inks, like specialty inks, watermark inks, all the every Tim Holtz ink that I bought, they're all in there. Um, just doodads from Daiso, they need to be put away. So, okay, on top of this table I have pretty much all my machines, I guess. So there's the Gemini, um, the Gemini Go, which I don't use often enough at all. A foil press, I have Gemini Mini right here. All the plates that go with those guys. The big shot that I finally found, I told you guys I found it in the garage, was the bottom of like the last box I opened. Um, 
bunch of sprays from brawler sprays we need those sprays guys you need every color i need to use these more it's still pretty i mean why not um cuddle bugs i hardly use i should probably put this green one away make room for something else and keep the gold one out all close to my heart stamps all the way down to the bottom and you can't see that but that's everything that's here um underneath i do have a bunch of gorgeous girl stuff that's all in the little gorgeous girls um train or case what's called yeah you know one of those cases like a craft cart um on the left it's all anna griffin dies that are put in art bin um containers which i do like um uh, they're not my favorite favorite but they're okay in the middle there i can see there's the Sizzix embossing tool, but um, underneath that is all the We Are Memory Keepers Evolution, Mini Evolution, with everything that goes with it, because I just keep it all together, but it's under there and hardly ever touch it. Things I need to put away. That's all that is right there, um, other than this little 6x6 paper pad um, container. But right there, that stuff needs to be put away. Um, that's why it's there. Oh, is that everything? Did I miss a chunk of anything? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm tired. And then it just makes me feel like Oh, <laughs> I told you guys with the uh, Crafters Companion apron, I'll just throw it on the pile. So I have my Close to My Heart one here. I have the Slice one that they gave us for free when I went to a Slice um, uh, conference or scrapbook expo, I guess, class, let's say. And then um, I have two others in the garage. I have another black one that I don't know if it has, says anything on it, but I do have one that came from Art Bin. Like those Sorry, I lost my train of thought. So yeah, no, it, the Art Bin container came with a free Art Bin um apron so now i'll have the crafters companion apron i'm gonna stick it right here and uh it'll just be there to look cute so that's it you guys maybe this weekend supposedly my husband we're gonna get out in the garage if i clean it up enough to where i can show you like the, how i store the extra things the things that aren't gonna get damaged out there right that's pretty much that the yarn's not gonna it's in the tub it's fine um things that have to that might get damaged from heat or cold that's what i try to just keep in here which are in the basic stuff right but if I need something, I know where to go. I'll go out there and just grab it. Um, I just got this Brother sewing machine in. This is funny because I didn't know that Crafters Companion was putting out a newer sewing machine, a better one. Or like more electronic, you know. But this machine I had for a while. And then before we moved here, I sold it because you know, I'm destashing. I'm getting rid of stuff. I'm on offer up. I'm just selling things left and right. Um, offer up is really great, actually, because things sell really quickly. Um, and I sold it for, I think, 100 bucks. I think I paid it 150 160 for it. And now I paid, I think, just $200 to get it back again because <laughs> I love this machine. And it's the Brothers CS7205, so I'll, I'll review it in the next couple days here. But what I like is that it has this little embroidery. Um, it has the font. And you can program the font. So, like, um, for a friend of mine, I had put her little daughter's name when she was born, Emma. And I just uh, had made her quilt, and then I stitched around the whole edge of the quilt with her name. So it just said Emma, 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 and that was part of how the quilt held together. So I, it was cool, you know? So um, I was really wanting to get that function back. So anyway, that's it. I will see you guys at the next one. Bye now.